rules apply to any clips that you have in your timeline. You can animate opacity. You can actually animate style, which is pretty cool. But you can also animate positions and duration on screen. So again, if I want to render this all out, I actually need to play it back once from the beginning, which I'll do. I'm just going to make sure my sound is still at 30%, and it is. And I hit play. Yes. And there we have it. Now, if I was to hit play again, you see this faint green line? That tells me that it has created, uh, I guess, a temporary render for the smoother playback. So if I was to drag my playhead back now, I won't run the whole thing. But it's definitely yes. smoother, as you can see here. Okay, so those are the basics on how to edit in Photoshop, how to create movement, how to create animation, and how to play and work the timeline. Now the final stage in our process obviously is to actually output this as a video file. So we can do that a couple of ways but I'm going to go up to file, export, render video and the first thing I will do is establish where to save this and I'll save it in that same video folder that I've been using but I'll give it a slightly better name I will call it first underscore ps underscore video first photoshop video uh, now i have other options you can leave it at its default settings and you'll get an excellent quality video which would be very friendly for youtube youtube loves the dot h.264 uh, codec uh, but under presets if you wanted to go for something other than youtube or who knows what you're going for you can specify for specific devices as well as high definition devices and standard definition uh, output for uh, broadcast as well. But you can see here we've actually got presets for YouTube which is pretty sweet. It makes life uh, a lot easier when you have all these presets made for you. I'm going to live with the, con with the uh, default settings here. Original size etc etc. And I will click render. And as long as it takes depending on your computer speed, it will uh, render that video out. And there we go. The only thing I should do, of course, is go and check that that video works fine. So here it is right here. I'm on a Mac, so I can just actually hit my spacebar to play it back. Yes. There we have it. I'll hit my spacebar to close that again. But on a Mac, you can preview any type of file by highlighting it in the Finder and hitting spacebar. So I'd like you to create a video for me similar to this using these files as well. And we'll just go back to Photoshop here, and I'll let you get going on that.